Oh, hello, Bid. It's your boy, Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. In today's video, we're discussing a big dog in the fragrance world, a bit of a legend, if you will. Today's fragrance was released about nine or ten years ago for the men that come alive at the night. The fragrance we're discussing today comes from the house of YSL, and it's YSL's La Nuit Dalom. So, as I've already stated, this fragrance has been around for quite some time now, and I'm sure that most of you are at least remotely familiar with it. In terms of presentation, it closely mimics its predecessor. You know, the one that started it all, the legend. I call him little homie, but you might call it Loam. Now, despite having similarities in design, La Nuit de Lome is a different take on the original Loam DNA. And in my opinion, it was a great take on the fragrance, enough to make me purchase it about four or five times over the course of its release. To me, La Nuit is still a bright and sophisticated fragrance, but it's more of a sensual take on Loam. Now, I currently have the 2015 batch, and I'm more than pleased with the way it smells. To me, this one's heavy on a cardamom, it's sweet and spicy, and it gives it more of an oriental type of feel. In addition to the cardamom, there's also cedar and vetiver with this one, but I tend to primarily get cardamom throughout the entire life of this fragrance. You know, from that first spray to the end, it's there and it's present. Now, with many of the lone flakers out there, they tend to get, you know, criticized for their performance or lack thereof, and this one here is no different. Over the years, this one has gotten a ton of backlash for its changes in formulation. It's been called watered down, but at the end of the day, to me, this one still smells great. In fact, Although I no longer have the original bottle, I can't tell a major difference between this one and the original bottles I purchased at the beginning of this fragrance life, like when it first came out. I mean, it's still gonna compliments, still a bit of mysterious fragrance, and it's still a fragrance staple. I mean, most men out there who are into fragrances have this one. Even if you're not into fragrances, you might have received this one as a gift before. This is popular. It's been around for quite some time, and I know that most of you have at least gotten your nose on it. With that being said at this point it's pretty much available almost anywhere the fragrances are sold and if you're looking to purchase this one on a discounted site gray market site then it's going to be quite easy to find and you might be able to get like a 30 40 dollar discount depending on where you go versus the retail pricing now all things considered because of its smell its popularity and its impact on the fragrance community I want to give this one a 9 out of 10. This one is a solid release from the house alone. Now, I know some of you guys out there may comment on the, the difference between the original versus where they are now. I don't have the 2017 formulation. I don't have a 2018 formulation. So, I can't really tell you the difference. This one here is from 2015. Aside from this one, I may have had like three or four other bottles over the course of uh, time that I've been into fragrances. But... To me, this one still smells good. There's some, um, obviously, some clones out there, some ones that are similar. Um, but to me, this one takes the cake. 9 out of 10, great fragrance, great release from the house of YSL. Let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's my take on YSL's La Nuit Dalone. Comment below and let me know what you think. I'm your boy, Big Bid B. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And actually watch another video. But before you do that, hit the goddamn bell. <laughs>